Hello guys and welcome to the first Defender review of FIFA 22. I don't normally do these because they are a lot harder to showcase. And to be honest, everyone knows what sort of centre-back to go for. Um, this man though, I, I wanted to give it a go, try something new and try and review a Defender. So we got Samuel Untiti flashback. Now, he's got a low medium work rate which is pretty decent for a Defender. Um, left footed. Two star skills and a three star weak foot. Could have been nice if he had the four star weak foot, but I mean, it is the start of FIFA. He's looking a decent card. Now we get on into his attributes. Now, I've heard other people say that 79 acceleration and 78 sprint speed on this man isn't good enough. I'm sorry, I don't know who or why people are saying that. We're at the start of FIFA and he's got 78 pace. If you went last year, the year before, the year before that, 78 pace is a phenomenal centre-back to start the game. We're only in October, lads. It's the first month, so I don't know why people are saying that. But obviously, we'll find out in-game. But I think 78 pace is absolutely at that peak. Obviously, 80 is a really good pace. 70, not so good. So, he's high, he's high 70s. For me, that is perfect. Obviously, he's got the same pace as Van Dijk. Obviously, he's not as strong as Van Dyke, etc. But I think his pace is going to be absolutely fine, lad. I really do. Um, he's got surprisingly high shot power on long shots. Uh, 88 shot power and 76 long shots. I don't see him scoring anytime soon, like, but, you know, it's good to have, I suppose. Short passing, brilliant at 80. And 77 long pass is quite good as well, to be quite honest. 76 curve. Um, his dribbling is not too bad. He's got some really nice stats. 84 reactions being a stand up there, and that is what you need for a defender on this game. Uh, obviously, you need to react quickly to the play in front of him, to intercept balls, etc. So that's not bad. His composure on the ball is 77 as well. Uh, but obviously, we're here for the defending and physical stats. Now, everything is above 84 in his defending stats. I don't think that's bad at all. 87 in interceptions, brilliant. 84 head and accuracy, decent. 86 defensive awareness. 86 stand tackle and 85 slide tackle. Well-rounded centre-back. Well-rounded centre-back. He does go for quite a lot of coins. I think it was 80k, 85k. I think it only cost me about 30, 35, something like that because of the people I did have in my club. I thought, you know what? We might never get a chance to get a French centre-back to link players like Umtiti, who looks pretty usable uh, down the line. So for hybrid reasons, etc., I've gone and got him uh, because he is in a good nation and obviously he is in a good league and plays for a good team. So that's the reason I've gone and got him. Um, he's got 87 jumping, which is great. Uh, 71 stamina, though, that's questionable. But uh, uh, to be honest, centre-backs don't need that much stamina, I've noticed. Obviously, midfielders and strikers do, and wingers. But centre-backs, I think it's okay, but we'll find out in-game for definite. Now, he has 90 strength and 86 aggression, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But the downside is, he has one uh, trait, and it is injury-prone, so that's obviously not great, is it? Uh, all in all, looks like a really well-rounded card. For the start of FIFA, 80k, not bad. Obviously, though, you've got meta players like Edo Midley Tau. He's only 15k, lads. So, yeah, he might be a bit expensive. Maybe it was about 50k for the SBC. Um, it might be a yes. Or if you can do him for, like, 20, 30,000 coins with stuff in your club, I'd say go and do him. But, obviously, we're here to find out, and that's what you're here to find out. Is he actually worth the price on the people you submitting? Because it is an untradeable card. But I think... Taking into consideration the nation he plays for, the league he's in, and the team he plays for, and the decent stats he has, I think it's going to be worth it further down the line um, for hybrids, etc. Because at the moment, there's not that many usable centre-backs in uh, Liga Santander. Obviously, you've got Militao, you've got Umtiti now. I don't even know who else you've got because obviously Varane's moved the meta. So he gets a strong link actually. That's a really good point to add to Mendy. So um, yeah, we'll find out if he's worth it lads. And let's get on into the gameplay and see what this Umtiti card can actually do. Lovely defending. There we go. Showing his defensive ability there just to snap the ball up. That pass was shit though. Oh, God, we're going to concede. No, we're not. I don't realise this guy's got bloody Mbappe. It's going to be a real tough test for Titi. He clears it there. Obviously not very far. Good block again. Hey, he's, he's doing all right so far. Lovely. 
Lovely pass from Umtiti over to Kappa. We find Gerard lingering. Is it his second? No, it's not. That one goes slightly over the bar. So we go into half time 1 1. Umtiti's been playing really well, to be quite honest. Uh, putting a shift in, getting blocks off, getting tackles in. Uh, quite impressed with him at the moment. Obviously, that could change. But let's go on into the second half and see if he can continue his performances. Again, great interception. His passing's a bit crap, though. Keeps getting intercepted. So, first game with Um Titty. It's been a difficult one. Lost 3 1. A couple of things happened in the game. My mum rung, my girlfriend rung, and Royal Mail came. It's because it's my birthday today. Uh, so. <laughs> Everything went on. So in this first game, it's been a tough one. He did that. He did struggle because he, this guy did have Mbappe. And yes, the pace did show. Even though I was talking about the pace earlier. Yes, the pace did show in this uh, from on Titi. He did, he did get beat quite often. Um, but obviously, that was because he had the fastest bloody man. And one of the best strikers on the game up front. So, I mean, you're not going to get that every game. You might do in foot champs. But you're not going to get it every game in rivals. Um, so... Yeah, it's been a tough one for him in this first game, but he was decent. He was decent blocking, etc. Look, the just couldn't get to the defender, uh, stuff like that. He didn't play amazing, but he didn't play shit either. And there was a couple of distractions in the game, obviously, as I've just spoken about. So, we'll have a couple more with him, and I'm sure he will be a decent centre-back. Um, just, obviously, this game, he had the hardest striker to defend against, and everything else that happened in the game, so... Yeah, fingers crossed he will be good in the next one. So here we go into match number two. And wow, what a team, lads. What a team. Great block there. The positioning was a bit funny there, to be honest. But then he did recover, get back, and got a lovely block in. Um, titty. Um, but I don't know what the initial positioning of him was. It was pretty poor. He's there again, though. And again. Look at these interceptions, lads. Get unlucky we don't collect the ball there. Like, but he's there, winning the ball back, doing his job. Oh, look at that! That was automatic AI defending as well. And he sticks a leg in there. Crucial moment as well. Oh my God, what a finesse. I want to get Salah. I want to try Salah out. I've not used him yet. Uh, but we're going to our time. 1-1. One, one. We're lucky it's 1-1, one, one, lads. We really are. Lucky it's 1-1. One, one. Look at that brilliant ball from Umtiti. Perfect. Oh, lovely one, two. Gerard's through. Can we score again? Oh, he's the post. His left foot's pretty decent, lads. Second attempt on his left foot in this game. First one went in the back of the net. Second one, it's the post. And it hit the post off the keeper's deflection as well. He's got an answer to it. Well played, um, Titty. Brilliant play. Great defending yet again. That was good positioning at the time to intercept the ball. He's really good at these long passes, to be fair, um, Titty. Really good at playing it out the back. Quite surprising how good he is, actually. So, um, Titty in this one. Played well. Made some good blocks again. Um, his pace is okay. Not mind-blowing. I do understand now why Marshall and others have been saying, yeah, his pace isn't the best. Um, I don't know what it is. He doesn't feel rapid for a centre-back, even though similar players with similar pace feel more fast. I, I just don't understand why. Um, but his interceptions and his blockings have been one of the best things about the guard. Absolutely fantastic. Um, his tackling's okay as well. Uh, he's a decent card. Do I think he's 80k? No, I do not. I, I really don't. Um, if you've got 
players in your club and you're not asked about them and you want to put them into an SBC. If you can get this man for about 30, I'd say he's worth it. Anything more than that, he probably isn't. Um, he is a decent centre-back, but there is a hell of a lot better on the market for a lot less coins than this man. The only reason I've done it, as I said before, he's French, he's got good links. Being in La Liga, La Liga doesn't have many centre-backs at the moment. And being French, he's a really good asset to have in your club to link players in. And he's not bad, but he certainly isn't great. And he's certainly not 80k, because 80k can get you some fantastic, fantastic centre-backs. You can get Marquinhos, who's an 89 rated, is he this year? Or is it 87? 88? I don't know. Uh, but his card is miles better than this man. Absolutely miles, and around the same price. Um, so that's what he's trying to compete with in that category. And yeah, he doesn't do it, but he's not bad, is what I'm trying to say. I don't think he's worth 80k, but he's not bad. Into match number three, and probably the easiest team I have played so far. I mean, the two, the first two teams, he had a Mbappe in the first one, and then that last team was well, well rounded. So, fingers crossed we can win this one. Great play from Mum Titty. Let's go on a little run with him. Oh, ho, ho, he turns into Ronaldinho. Ball rolling past the defenders there. Gerard's on the edge here. Let's have a finesse. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Stevie G! He is sick. His long shots actually go in the net this year. And by god. Wow. Wow. He's been the best man I've used outside the box by far. And he hasn't even got the finesse shot tree. And they're going in like that with his finesse. Wow, just take an absolute bow. Stevie G, that is what we buy you for. Oh, what a tackle, um, Titty. Great, great tackle from him. Again, look at that for a pass. His long passing's been great. I really am surprised how good his long passing out the back is. So, half time in this one, 1-1. One, one. Um, Titty again. Been pretty decent. I'm really liking his long shots, his blocking, and his positioning has been fantastic. Um, well, positioning, I say fantastic. Sometimes he is a little out of position. So, we're going to half time, 1-1. One, one. Um, Titty's been okay. Um, things I'm liking about him is long passing out the back has been absolutely fantastic. Always pinpoint perfection, to be honest. Um, and the man's blocking and interceptions is fantastic. It really is. Just seems to be there when you need him to. So, final game with Umtiti. And we lost 6-5. Now that says, Jesus, the defending must have been shit. I'll tell you what was shit. Courtois. Every single shot he had went in the back of the net. It really did. And... The main main thing for me was he kept get going down the side that Umtiti wasn't on. It kept attacking Robertson and Eda Militao on the left side. Um, so I can't really blame Umtiti much. Um, he did miss the ball in some respects. His pace wasn't good enough in some places, you know, to get that burst of speed just to nick the ball off a defender. Um, but the two main things that I do like about him, as I said a couple of times, blocking and what was the other one? Blocking and interceptions, he's really good at. He was really good at. And long passing out the back, he's really good at. So, I like sometimes, you know, pass it back to a centre-back and then spray it across to one of my wide defenders to get some space, open up the play. And he can do that very superbly. It reminded me of Van Dijk in that respect because Van Dijk was very, very good at that. Um, not all defenders are. And Edem Militao definitely isn't. He's not a passer out the back, but... Defending wise, I'd probably say Militao is a bit better than this card. So, all in all, I wouldn't say he's worth it. But we'll get into my player summary of Umtiti anyway, right now. So, Samuel Umtiti. He didn't get any goals, he didn't get any assists, and he didn't get any cards. Um, all in all, he's okay. He's not mind-blowing. He's definitely not worth 80k. Uh, I'd say for about 30k, if you can pick this man up for about 30k by dumping your crap out of your club into him, I'd say he's worth it. He's worth it for in the future when objectives come out and you need someone to be able to link, first owner, etc. I'd say he's worth it. Um, but 
if you're going to go out and pay the coins to get him, I wouldn't submit 80k's worth of players into this man. No way. Absolutely no way. Uh, he just isn't worth it, lads. There's plenty on the market that is a lot better. As I said, this man costs similar to Marquinhos, and Marquinhos is far, far better than this man. Far better. Even Kimpembe is far better. Edo Militao is far better as a defender, but spraying balls out the back, uh, he's got that versatility as he can be one of your centre-backs so you can sort of dribble it out a bit, play the balls left it right, and that's what he's good at. He's good at doing that thing. He's good at intercepting and he's good at blocking. Um, he's not so good at quickly turning, getting a ball, sticking a... I say sticking a leg out. He is good at sticking a leg out. But what I mean is getting to that player quickly to get the leg out because he's not like six foot four like Van Dyke, etc. He can't just move one leg and he's reached the ball. He has to run and get the ball, if that makes sense. He has to move and get the ball, and he's not quick at that. Uh, that could be... His reactions are quite good at 84, actually, but I think it's, I think that's probably one of the reasons why he's not that great. If it was a bit higher, maybe 89, maybe he'd be able to get there, uh, but I think it's his height that lets him down quite a lot on most occasions. Um, and now for the Brack was decent. Uh, he cleared some headers out the back for me. That wasn't a problem. All in all, he's a decent defender. Would I say he's worth it? No. If I had to give him a rating out of 10, I'd probably give him a 6. Um, quite harsh on him, to be honest. But 80k, when you can pick up Militar for 15, he'll do arguably a better job. Uh, it just says it all, doesn't it? But he is linkable. He's got a good link. He's a flashback card. I did enjoy him, but I don't think he's worth 80k at all. As I said, if you do and can do him for about 30, I'd say, yep, yeah, go and do it. It's worth it just to have him in your club, even if you use him. He's going to be okay. He's not going to be mind-blowing, but he's going to do the job. And that's what he did. He did an okay job for us. I think maybe if we had a bit of a faster wing-back on that side, and maybe if we moved him over to the left, actually. Um, obviously, I can't do for chemistry reasons, but I could have in-game. Uh, because of the left foot, you can spray it down that wing and stuff like that. Uh, that would probably have been better. But, uh, yeah. If we had a bit better defender around him, I'm sure it would play better. If he was partnered with Varane, this could be a very different story. If we had like Varane, Mendy, and another fast right back, it would be a different story, I think, uh, because of the way he played. But we were obviously getting cut in on this side because Cap is not the best. Obviously, Robertson isn't the fastest. He's a good defender, but he isn't fast. Edo Militao was doing his job, but defensively, it's not the greatest defence in the world, is it? And Um City, unfortunately, probably um, failed on that behalf because of the defence as well. Um, obviously, he's not mind-blowing. He's definitely not mind-blowing. As I said, 6 out of 10 rating for him. Bit harsh, but it's the truth. And that's what I'm here to give you guys. I'm here to save you pumping all your coins into him and then finding out he's not worth it. So that's what these reviews are for. If you have enjoyed today's review, please do leave a like. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you all next time.